the grave site of J.D. Sumner and his wife, Mary J.D. was with the popular gospel group, The Stamps, but he was more known probably for being a backup singer for Elvis Presley. At one time, he had the Guinness World Book of Records for the lowest or deepest voice, basically, because he had such a deep voice. On the same... Or is J.D. Sumner is Gordon Stoker's resting place. He was one of the original Jordanaires. And as you can see, there's Gordon singing back up for Elvis Presley. Gordon with his family. And this has been up here since Father's Day of 2013. And it looks like his wife is still alive. And Gordon died in 2013. The resting place of Otis Blackwell. Otis was a famous songwriter he wrote several of Elvis Presley's biggest hits in the early days from Don't Be Cruel to All Shook Up it's all written by him he said he never met Elvis he didn't want to meet him because he's afraid he'd ruin the chemistry but he did brag about how well Elvis paid him for the song so he's, he lived off of those uh, royalties for his entire life, and I'm sure his family is still making money off of it today. The resting place of Jerry Hubbard, better known as Jerry Reed, and his wife Priscilla. Jerry was uh, known for the movie Smokey and a Bandit, where he played Snowman. And he had several hit songs. From Eastbound to Down to She Got the Gold Mine, I Got the Shaft. And Jerry also played a guitar on the Elvis Presley hit, Guitar Man. There's a video of Jerry telling that story on YouTube. It's hilarious. If you get a chance, look it up. The resting place of country music singer K.T. Osmond. She died in 2020. She was only 58 years old, if my math is correct. That's sad. And then, of course, right here beside her is the great Tammy Wynette, who everybody knows was married to George Jones and had the big hit, Stand By Your Man, and one of the best-selling female country artists of all time. And they got her grave decorated really pretty, or mausoleum. Right across from Tammy Wynette is Miss Lynn Anderson. She had the big hit, I Never Promised You a Rose Garden. She's laid to rest right beside her mother Liz, who was a singer as well. And she's right across from... Miss Tammy won it. Right across from Lynn Anderson is Van Stevens. We're making the short walk over here to little Jimmy Dickens' resting place. They got a statue of him holding a tater. He always made a joke. His mom used to call him tater, so I guess that's the whole concept of that. And his headstone in the mausoleum is beautiful. I mean, just amazing, the detail. He was the longest, oldest living member of the Opry for years.
He was like 95 years old when he passed away. His wife is still living. December 19th, 1920 to January 2nd of 2005. 2015. 2015, my fault. <laughs> Vic Lessig got the numbers backwards. That is just amazing detail. Right above little Jimmy is Guy Tomlin. Little May Tomlin. And then right over here is Dottie Rambo. She had several hits back in the day too. Dottie was just her nickname. I didn't realize her middle name was Reba. Wonder if Reba McIntyre might have been named after her. And right above Dottie is Mr. Jim Ed Brown. Buried to the top. It amazes me how they get them up there like that. 